Hi everyone, it's Jocelyn from AQ Outdoors, Refrax Calgary, and today I'm going to show you how to properly tie down your boat. Once you have the boat centered and balanced on the roof of your car, you can begin to tie down. We like to use cam straps instead of ratchet straps so that you don't damage the boat by pulling too hard. Begin by placing the strap under the crossbar. Make sure that the buckle end is shorter than the strap end. Once you have your straps on, you can throw them over the boat. Once you're on the other side of the vehicle, loop the end without the buckle back under the crossbar. Ensure that the buckle is all the way up at the top of the boat so that when you tighten, you have room. Place the strap through the bottom and up through the top. Pull out any excess. Do the same thing with the back bar. Once you have them both in place, you can begin to tighten. To ensure that they stay tight, I like to make a number four. Then cross the end without the buckle from behind and tighten to create a knot. This way, if the can becomes loose, the knot will stop it from loosening all the way off. Next, to deal with excess strap, I like to make a letter P with the tail behind. Then, I tuck, continue to tuck through the strap to make a daisy chain. You can tuck it in the strap behind, just like that. You can repeat these steps for the back bar. Once you have the body secured, you can move to do the bow and stern lines. To tie down the bow and stern, we like to use the Thule hood loops and Thule quick draw system. Begin by popping the hood and placing the hood loop underneath. Then close the hood. The Thule quick draw system comes with a black strap that attaches to a handle on your boat. Pull it through the handle and then pull it back through itself like so. Then at the front of your vehicle, Attach the end with the silver hook into the hood loop and attach the end with the pulley system to the black strap you just put on your kayak. Then you can pull to tighten. Once you have it tightened, you can tie off your excess strap. At the back of the kayak, we will repeat the same steps. On the back of your car, if you have a hitch, you can clip it in to the hitch. 